Hey guys, welcome, welcome back. I know it's been a while. I've been trying to figure out this A-Star thing too as well and I actually, before I mentioned that, I actually updated my little bit of the code for my engine and I actually moved this TMX loader outside my gameplay state. It used to be inside the T tile data inside here but I changed it because I might need it outside of that T tile data class. So. I decided to move outside and then just pass it into the tile data class into the, in a parameter. So yeah, so I didn't do much changes yet. I did update some other areas of the engine, which there's no reason to show you that. But anyway, anyway, I was gonna talk about enemies, and at first I was actually gonna do the entire thing from 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 the beginning, you know, setting the enemies and then doing the the logic for them, but I think that, that would be too much. So I kind of separate it to different, I guess you could call them milestones. So there could be sections of it instead of me showing you the entire thing. So I think that will be a little bit better than me going like straight ahead and going crazy on it. And be, you guys going to be like, what the heck, what the heck went on, you know? So, and in this, and in this, um, I guess, not really the tutorial, but in this video, I'm actually gonna go about it differently than I usually do. Usually I, you know, I speed it up everything and then I talk about it afterwards. But since this milestone is gonna be really short, I decided to do it while I'm actually talking at the same time. So let's do it, let's start it. So, you know what, let me open that. Oh, I kind of updated the, the level. Let me show you. I updated to do this instead. So it'll be much better. And the FPS dropped like crazy. Before I actually, it's because I'm recording, that's why it went down. But before I did that, was at 60. But I guess because I'm recording at the same time, it kind of it dropped by half. That's crazy. Okay. Well, anyway. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna open that. I'm gonna open it up actually. Let's see, Get my levels. Open that up, please. So we're gonna play. So what I'm uh, having 20 while I'm gonna do in this video. So what we're gonna do in this video, actually, I'm actually gonna be. What do you say? I'm gonna be placing enemies into the level. So how this T, how this uh, this is the T max level that I have that's loading right now. So how am I gonna be doing this? Basically, you know, I'm gonna have an object later. Layer. I'm not sure if you, any of you guys have used tiled tiled before. So you have sections where you could have an object layer and you could have multiple different ones. And you could create like boxes in here and you could grab the position of it in that in that area that you pasted it in. Like you dropped um created that box. So wherever I'm gonna create the boxes where and yeah I kinda like name it let's say enemy. So any box that I name enemy and when I put in code that's where all the enemies can be spawning at so so i'm gonna oh. so let's just create one right there for now so it's called enemy so what i'm gonna be doing in code since i have it there let's um let's create a function in here so it could be much cleaner so it can be um void create enemies from TMX data and you can pass in a TMX loader loader copy that Oops. not what I wanted to do sorry about that um, let's put it at the ball so okay Sorry, I'm not sure if I'm talking too low, but it's kind of it's late at night. It's 10:40 something at night, and there's people sleeping here. So if I'm talking really low, I apologize. But pretty sure this headset can detect, can grab my voice really easily. So, so if that's not the problem. Then just regard what I just said right now. Oh, so, I'm gonna include number include. Oops. I'm passing a vector. I know what you guys can say. It's 
if you have seen my previous other videos. I told you guys never to use specters unless you know how to use it, but unlike me, I know how to use it and I know how to create one, so I can break that rule if I wanted to. I only said that for those who don't know what the heck this is going on from my previous videos, so if you don't know how to create one, I suggest you not to use it, otherwise use it as much as you want. I'm going to create a vector here, no it's not, it's backwards actually, vector, DMX, object, I'm not sure if I have it in here, do I have that, yes I do, I call it enemy at DMX data, and I'm passing the loader to get objects by type. I think I called it capital, did I? Was it capital? Yeah, it's capital. Capital enemy. And I'm gonna loop through all of them. I equals zero. I is less than. Enemies. It's plural. Since it can be multiple of them. But size. And I'm gonna be looping through all of them actually. The TMX object pointer enemy TMX equals. Let's make sure it loads it though, because I don't want to create an entire thing and it does not even load it at all. So let's make sure it actually loads it. So let's create one there. I, I, I haven't even tested that function yet. Probably should have tested it before I even came in here. Um, let's load it there. Pass into loader. So, let's see if it loads it because I haven't even tested that and I carried an error. What the heck is that error? Overloaded member. Actually, not found in game listed. Okay, I know what it is. Doesn't know what TMX loader is. Oh, yep, that was it. Alright, alright. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so I did pass it in. There's the object. It should have something in there. Size. Yes. Cool. Okay. So they created it. Created it. It, 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 it. Okay. So now what I have to do next? Apologize. I kind of ended the video earlier. Because every time I press F10, that's when the video ends. So it kind of kind of ended the video earlier. So we're gonna create another static entity pointer create enemy. For now it's called enemy. Call it game state pointer create game state and with the positions. Okay, so now that I did that, I'm gonna create the entity. Can I animate it? Sprite. It's almost similar to the player one, actually. It goes new, animated sprite entity. And animation is call it for now, just call it walk. Since I haven't really created animations for the enemies yet, I have a temporary one, but I actually don't even know the name of this. Hold on, give me a second because I do not know the name of that enemy. Okay, anyway, uh. 
call it enemy left. Let's call. I kind of already have a uh, texture in here for it, so it's all good. So let's call it enemy left. And how many does it have? Hold on, give me a second. I do have no idea how much animation. It should, should have two. Certainly has two. That's one row. One animations, two. Animation speed, put it 200. Okay, pass it into the sprite. Add animation. Walk. Then sprite for now. Just play the animation. Enemy left. And I don't think I have an enemy class for this, so I think it should be fine if I don't have one. And then probably should put it up here. Entity. I can't even pass the position here. Okay. Uh, transform, transform, close entity, get transform, then transform. There should be an easier way to set this. I'm probably update it later on. X, Y, and Z should be zero since we're not using the Z section of it. So, that should be it for that. Go back to gameplay state. Factory create enemy and gameplay. I think it's like this. And we can pass the enemy DMX get X enemy DMX get Y. Let's see how that looks, shall we? Uh, crash, of course. Oh, of course. I forgot to put the return value. Okay, there we go. I... Okay. Um... There are statics? Is it static? This is your soul. To do tau data tau height divided by two. Plus tau data tau height divided by two point oh f. So that should center it correctly in that location. There we go. Yeah, and it does this because I had to update the, the shader class or the shader code to do to render to, to for the alpha. So I need to remove the alpha. And same thing for the Joshi. I need to remove the uh, alpha from it. But I'll do that later. I'm not worried about it right now. Alrighty. Woo so I created that there. So now I can create multiple of these. Okay, object and put it there. Object. <coughs> Apologize. Uh, create one up there. The object. Create another one here. Okay, object. object. Put it there. Uh, okay, object. Put another one here. Duplicate okay, object. Put another one here. Let's save that out and play it. And it should render all of them actually. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. So this is the first milestone that I want to do. I didn't want to keep it too long. So my first milestone was just to spawn stationary enemies, which I just did right now. I got five milestones. So we just did the first one. The second one is start doing the movement and that'll be just back and forth movement from one point to another. So I will 
Then the third milestone will be player detection distance. So once the player gets close enough, it will start following the player or it will just make sure he detects it. And then the fourth milestone will be to make sure that he actually can see the player and it's not seeing it throughout the wall. Uh, so if we use for the second milestone, if I use the, I mean, the third milestone where I check use the distance, I can be here and he will be able to detect me because I'm within the distance. But And so the fourth milestone will be like, okay, he's close enough, but then again, there's a wall between us, so that means he can't see me. So we gotta make sure the player can see me. So that'll be the fourth milestone. And then the fifth one will be state machines for enemies where I'm gonna start doing AI and all that kind of stuff. So that'll be it at the end. So we just did the first milestone. So I hope you guys liked this video. I know it's kind of lame and wasn't a lot going on here yet, but, but that's my first milestone. I apologize that I haven't done much of this stuff yet because I've been I had to deal with some stuff first before and I'm, I'm okay now so uh, so I'm back well I don't want to say I'm back because <laughs> it is, it, everything just depends on my job so as long as I have free time then I'll, I'll continue this so I hope you guys like this video you know we'll just I was just placing some stuff on here and like always you always you know follow me on Twitter or my Facebook page or just comment this video and let me know if there's anything you guys want to see or anything you guys want for me to do or anything that I can improve on that you saw in my code and be like okay you should do it this way because it's much better right now so or you know just give me suggestions give me some enemies and how they should look like or how they should move or stuff like that you know don't be afraid guys it's okay I uh, love so many suggestions and I know I, this video was a little bit different than the other ones where I'm talking at the same time while I'm coding. I was trying different things because you know I haven't I haven't been receiving anything on how I should do my videos or how you guys like them to see it and which is better which is not better and blah 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 so yeah so if you have any input on it let me know I'd like to hear about your input but anyway so I'll end this video like that I don't want to, they want to keep it too long. So, I'll see you guys in the next milestone, which will be player movement, or I mean enemy movement, I guess you can call, call it. So, I'll see you guys there. So, signing out, and thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys thumbs it up. It'll help me a lot. So, signing out, guys. See you later.